Lifestyle is always a choice. The main assumption of this training is that you have a lot more choice over your life and how it turns out than you give yourself credit for. This is a very empowering concept because there are too many people out there who think that if they are not born with certain advantages, it's game over for them. A lot of people are under the impression that if they don't have the right parents, the right genetics, or they don't have the right set of advantages when it comes to IQ, emotional quotient or social IQ, and other factors, they are pretty much done for. At the very least, they're going to have a much tougher time than people with these advantages. Please understand that there is a genetic basis for wellness. This is indisputable. There are certain genetic predispositions that people are born with. For example, there are certain genetic markers for people who have a higher than average tendency to develop certain types of cancer. In fact, you can get tested for certain types of genetic predispositions. The most common of these is the BRCA blood test. Using analysis of subject's DNA, scientists can see how susceptible your genes are to harmful mutations that can lead to breast and ovarian cancer. Genetic predispositions do exist. There's no denying them, but there are limits to a genetic basis for wellness. For example, you may have a predisposition for high blood pressure, heart disease, or certain types of cancer. At this point, you have a choice. Are you going to choose a lifestyle that tends to trigger those predispositions so they become full-blown health conditions? Or are you going to choose a healthier lifestyle? Understand that the game is not over just because you are born with certain genes. Lifestyle, it all boils down to choice. Now, please don't get the idea that just because you have a tremendous amount of choice on certain aspects of your life, that you can pretty much dictate how your life will go. It doesn't work that way. Although you have a higher amount of control than you probably give yourself credit for, please understand that your lifestyle does not operate in a vacuum. There are other factors outside of your control. You can lose your job. Your partner might leave you despite your best efforts. You might suffer from genetic damage and so on down the line. Still, by being mindful over your lifestyle inputs, you will end up exercising a lot more control over your life than otherwise. If you're looking to live a more empowered life, this is it. It really all boils down to choosing to be more responsible. The great thing about lifestyle inputs is that, to a certain degree, they can dampen or limit the effects of factors you can't choose. You can't choose your parents. You can't choose the country that you're born in. Depending on the economy, you might even feel like you can't choose employers. The list goes on and on. The good news is that by exercising your control over your lifestyle and being mindful of its many different inputs, you play a bigger role in your life. You're not just sitting back and letting your life play out. Now, keep in mind that this requires three things. First, you need to be conscious. Understand the many different inputs that make up your lifestyle. It's not just about the food you eat. It doesn't just involve how much exercise you get. It applies across the board. Be as conscious of these inputs as possible and take control as much as you can of them. Also, you need to be consistent. Just because you know that a holistic lifestyle can help you become a better and more fulfilled person, it doesn't really help you all that much. Seriously, you may know what to do, but if you do not put this into practice, you are back to where you started. In fact, I would say that you are in a worse place. There's nothing more depressing than failing and knowing why you fail, but you feel that there's really nothing you can do about it. It's like you're seeing yourself fall apart right in front of your very eyes. You have to be consistent. You have to take action on the information that you're going to learn from this training. You have to apply it equally in many different areas of your life. Finally, you have to be constant. This requires constant effort. Not only do you have to be aware, not only do you have to take action, but you have to constantly take action. Consistency is great, but constant effort is crucial. They go hand in hand. You have to be consistent in your efforts, but you also have to take constant action. And the great part about this is that even if you cannot take action on nutrition at a particular point in time, you can work on your mental or emotional inputs. If you can't do that, you can work on financial inputs or something else. As long as you're constantly working on this, it becomes a habit. It becomes easier over time. Please understand that it's too easy for a lot of people to look at lifestyle as essentially a physical project. They think that it really all boils down to whether they are going to be healthier or not. While this is true, you have to look beyond the physical and medical impact of your lifestyle choices. You have to understand that you are a complete person. There are many different parts to you. Your body and mind are not separate. You are your nutrition. Part of you is defined by how social you are. A significant part of your identity revolves around the kind of work you choose to do. Similarly, the amount of stress you subject yourself to, as well as the things that you dwell on or focus on, impact your identity. Your financial input and spiritual aspirations round out who you are. 
Be aware that this is the case. Be aware of how these combine and work together. The best part to all of this is that it is chosen. You are right in the middle. You are always in the driver's seat. Open your mind to the power that you have in your hands. You can always choose. It may seem like a lot of things are already set in stone. In fact, you might even be under the impression that your life is pretty much on autopilot and there's really not much you can do at this point. Well, that's just an illusion. By starting small and making certain changes, you'd be surprised as to how they cascade or knock loose other parts of your life that you thought were just plain unchangeable. It all begins with a commitment to change. Let's be real here. You're taking this training because, at some level or another, you're not happy with your life. Maybe you feel you're out of shape. Maybe you are suffering from some sort of health condition. Perhaps you feel uneasy or anxious. Whatever your frustration may be, the answer is a holistic lifestyle. Because just as you can push a balloon on one side and expect it to swell up somewhere, any action you take in any aspect of your overall person can set in motion the changes that you need to go through to become a happier, more complete, and more content individual. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.